Good morning, family. It's your boy. Fishing with my cousin today. That boy Yank Aaron, guys. Y'all remember him from, from the weather for video. My boy, number one cousin. <laughs> you, what you, you ready today, man? Man, I'm about to go hard on the fish. Hard on the crappie. Hard on the crappie. Well, let's go! Family, family, family. Guys, I got y'all some new gear coming. New little design. Want to kick a shout out to my man, Corey, for making this come true. Helping me out with it. Show y'all again that CH fish in the middle. Ooh. <laughs> I got some designs for this. You know, it won't replace the iconic crappie head logo right there. It won't replace that. It'll just be something else fresh to the repertoire for the crappie head family. We gonna uh, go out today and show y'all why you might not be catching crappie and what you need to look for to make your chances better to putting them in the boat. Oh man, I'm killing it. I'm shooting on the wrong side of the boat. This is what you want to see. All those little dots, get that off screen. All those individual dots right there, outside of a pile, that is what you want to see. That's not a ton, ton, but those are some good size, nice quality fish. All right, when you scan it, you want to go as slow as possible. Oh, I came across something. Look at this, guys. I got to show y'all this. That is ideal of what you want to look for. Let me blow it up, Mike. Look at all those dots. Those are biggins, too. I mean, those, those are doozies. Maybe some doozy pluses off in there. But that's what you want to see. You want to see them separated dots all clustered in there. And... Uh, like I was saying before that brush pile interrupted me, you want to go as slow as possible. That gives you the best chance of accurately marking your spot when you throw your buoy. Because if you're going real fast, that momentum of you pulling past it, when you throw that buoy, that, that buoy is going, you know, you're going to be in a drift out, drifted off your spot farther than you know. So the slower you can go across when you're scanning for your, your pile is the better, you know. Bro, what's up with you and them socks, man? Fresh as I get at. Fresh. Real, real men wear pink. Real men wear pink. Where did they say yes. that at? I need that thump in my life as a crappie head. A full blown crappie head. I, I got to get the thump. That's the only thing that can, you know, that's the only thing that can. Scratch that itch. Woo! Soon as it got down there. Soon as it got down there. And that right there is a little keeper. It ain't no thinner tender, but it's definitely a, uh some dinner. God man, we gotta find we gotta find them doozies that <laughs> little old eaters alright, but I need to get my arm dislocated. And when you're in a brush pile, you don't have to jig as much because it is it's very common for a person that uses jigs to constantly pop that jig. A lot of times when you get in that brush pile, you can just set it there and hold it because that's what bait fish naturally do. They'll pull up by that brush and they'll sit in there and try to hide and crappie will come in there, you know, ambush them, come out the brush or they'll, they'll sneak around and get them. So, believe it or not, just holding it sometimes is more natural than you popping it around. I like to do a combination of a, like a swim, swim drag, drag the jig a little sideways or whatever. Maybe pop, did it right there. Goodness, did it right there. Other old good keeper. Man. I know there's some big ones in there. Just gotta make my way around around town and figure out where they sitting at. Alright, it's right. Come come to your left a little bit. Yeah, keep coming to your left a little bit. Slowly like that. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. <laughs> 
Who told you that, man? What'd you say? Say it again. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Now, what does that mean? Hey, man, things can change. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's all good when it's benefiting you. Yeah. Oh, so when, when you That's jacking it. the crop out of there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so now the crop got the gun. I got the gun. Oh, you got the gun. It was all good before we showed up. Oh, oh man, see we were just talking like to you, it. got blasted. Yeah, I know some of y'all had asked. I got that dragon tail on her, guys. Oh, I got that dragon tail on there. So we gonna see. And I gotta remember this brush come up real high. So, and it's very hangy. I broke up. Don't worry, don't worry. This is new decropping today. Not that go to work decropping. Even though I gotta go. Oh, ho, ho. I'm about to cut all this out because y'all gonna think I'm still at old decropping. All right. This 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 pile right here is hotter than lava coals. Woo! I tried to come up out of it, y'all. Man, I tried to come out of there. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I tried to sneak that dragon tail out of there. And remember guys, I have people in the comments asking where to get different stuff at. All my crappie head products, crappiehead.com, anything else, I'm gonna show you right here. Open your phone up. When you're at YouTube and you have a video, all you have to do is push this little drop down arrow right there and it'll show you everything up under the video, all the information. I got links to everything up under the video, guys. Got those crappie head towels. Get it, crappiehead.com, get you some. Very handy. But we gonna drop on back down here in some trouble. Hopefully I can make it happen. Back getting hung up. There you go, shablam! Mm. I told you guys, I'm gonna redeem this thing today. <laughs> we ain't found the doozy we need yet, but that's a decent quality keeper. When I know I'm straight up and down, I do a little pop and move that little dragon tail, make that thing flutter. But when I'm in the heart of that, that pal, I ain't playing no games, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is pick it, pull the string, pick it straight up, Sit it straight down on another side of the pile. Let it drop straight in there. Hopefully that slow drop. Oh, that was that was that was some that was some party time right there. Let me fix this bait. Fix this bait and get right back in it. But since I know they right there and looking at it, I'll sit that uh bait right there in front of them and periodically just jiggle it. Raise it up slowly. And when you get to the height, height of where you want to raise, oh, her, golly, he hit it too. Man, I'm just coming. All right. Oh, man. You know what? I realized that bad boy is sitting up higher. So I take out, I'm gonna take out some of that line. Come higher. There it go. Told you. That ain't the one I want, but I figured out what was going on in that, in that short amount of time or what was happening. I actually figured out what, what uh, depth he was at with doing that little technique of raising it up slowly through that brush pile. It helped you identify where they sitting at in the brush pile, either high or low. So we're gonna try that one more time since I already got that line set. And when you find one there, a lot of times there's more sitting right there by him. Not all the time, but a lot of times. Woo! Stuck him that time, boy. He tried to hit and run like that other one did, but I was too quick on the draw for him for that. Mm, 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 mm. Got him. Got him! Let's take him to the box. Talking 
There you go. There you go at the top. Oh man. That's a good quality fish too. Good thick, thick keeper, man. You almost put my eye out with your fish though, but it's a good quality keeper right there, guys. Look at that. Not minus the blood. Make sure I get on your yeah, carpet. I'll take it to the box for you, man. It's easy, especially when you get hung up, to develop a fear of getting hung up. So, fish. so that getting hung up got you fearful of getting hung up again? Nah, it, I mean, it has in the past. But what I learned throughout my life and even on this water, fear is the distraction for victory. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just go win. That's how you get hung up in that big and mouth. Just, that's how you stick them. Stick them. That's how you stick them. Stick them. All right, so we noticing all the fish are coming off the top of the pile, and that was the same situation from last time. Drop it down low. Put your elbow by your side, bro. Yeah, put the elbow by your side. That way you got you got better leverage to go and set that thing. You always want to be in the most comfortable position you can be. There you go. There you go. That's oh, that's a pig. I told you, they at the top. Gosh, me. Get your fish, man. He just splash. <laughs> splash me all in my eyeball. Not bad, brother. Uh -oh. Man, hey, Yank. That's a payback from when we was four. When we was four? Yeah. What you mean, man? You were more like six. And I was four. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, How's his payback? Some nine letters. Then my nine letters came up missing. Oh, you saying you paying me back for taking your nine letters? Yes. <laughs> yes. Guys, he's not speaking the truth. I had my own nine letters at, at, at six. I did not take his nine letters. The rainbow kind. Y'all know it's one. The red, <laughs> red, blue, and yellow. <laughs> Let's look at this fish. <laughs> Yes! And if y'all hold tight, man, I'm gonna show y'all how that fish scale will look. Well, how it performs anyway. I'm gonna show y'all how, how to make that thing work and make it uh, to where you can use it on your boat. Scale all your fish before you even get home and leave those scales at the lake. All right, family, it's time for a short intermission. Young, young Yank has brung Old school, we going old school with this thing. Skin up butter and chill. Oh, I need some hand sanitizer, please, sir. Oh God, not on the sandwiches, not on the I put the sandwich over. The yeah, <laughs> bless it. Let's see this. Get your fresh peanut butter and jammy sandwich. See what you got going on, Yank. Oh, you got me some Pringles, too? Why you my favorite cousin, man? Oh man, you had to have catch caught that while we wasn't filming. God, come on, man, show him that doozy. Show him that doozy, bro. Show him that doozy. Good lord, y'all. Yank has struck again. Boy, this boy going to work. <clears throat> That's what he do, y'all. That's why his name is Yank Aaron, cause he yanking the biggins. <laughs> God, I wish we could have saw that hook set, bro. I apologize, y'all. We were sleeping on the on the job. Those peanut butter jelly sandwiches had set in real good, and uh, it caused me to not to film. Let's get back to Yank. Got some hanging out, lingering around, but uh, this this what you want. I would like for them to be all all, all up top of it, but they all in there. Yeah, they down there, buddy. They down there. They down there, boy. This this, this the hole. This the hole, Yank. This is the hole. Mm. Man, pudgy belly, fat back, can't ask more than that. Ooh. Uh, oh, I missed him. Let's try it again. Swoop, got it. back around that branch, boy. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ooh. Ah. All right, guys, I, show, I told y'all I was gonna show y'all how the fish scale will work. 
And uh, this little buddy right here is on his way out. It's different from a spoon. You'll, you'll traditionally try to scrape with a spoon, but this is more of a pushing mechanism. So all you do is push up like that. And it, I mean, it, it goes to work, guys. You can actually do this off the back of your boat on the bank, just scale them up. And all you do is scrape. I mean, it, this bad boy cuts right through those scales. And it's just a little side motion. And bada bing, bada boom. Shake that in the water, shake him off. Throw your little water on your thing. Bam, 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 bam. Get out of the scales. You're not wanting anymore. Guys, crappiehead.com, fish scaler, many more things on there to check out. Go check it out, baby. I got your goods. I got the goods. This, 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 this the one. This the one to close the show out on, boy. This the one. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. baby, baby, I got y'all doozy, I got y'all doozy. Hey guys, hit that like button, subscribe, comment. I want to thank my cousin Yank Aaron right here, guys. Okay. This dude has been awesome, been patient, helped me film. I love you, bro. Love you too, man. That's hey. my favorite cousin, y'all. Hey man, fish well, good fellowship. Have a fantastic time. <laughs> we gonna close it out on a doozy and I'm gonna fall off the boat. But uh, guys, make sure y'all hit crappiehead.com. Get all your fishing uh, gear, your accessories, everything you need. I'll constantly be adding things to the website. Make sure you get your fish scaler. Uh, Crappiehead Quick Connects, very valuable. Very valuable tool. When you start fishing with them, you won't fish without them. Um, Doozyville, box please. Uh. Hey guys, as always, appreciate y'all watching and uh, see y'all on the water next time. Peace.